I am Lexington Maximus, admissions expert, transformation life coach, and agent of change. Of which, of course, you, you, yes, I'm talking to you, are an agent of change as well. Someone asked me the other day, Lexington, what if you can select one single thing that's more important than all of the other things that, and skills that I need to develop in admissions, would that be? Now, there really is no one single thing, but this is one of the most important things, which a lot of people don't study in, don't train in, don't learn how to get better with, and that is to create connection. Whether it's on the phone with your prospective student or in person. Creating authentic connection. Because as Zig Ziglar, the great motivational speaker and sales trainer once said, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Creating connection is key because if people don't trust you and feel connected with you, they're not going to do what you suggest they do. They're not going to feel that you're an authority that can give them great advice of where to go from where they are to where they want to go. So creating connection is key. And number one with creating connection, number one thing you could do, and it's just starting to rain here, so I'm going to do a short cliff note version here so my camera equipment doesn't get all wet. One of the most important things you could do is listen. Don't be so focused on talking. Instead, develop the skill of active listening. And there's a the cliche at this point, but there's a reason things are cliches. You have two ears, one mouth, listen twice as much as you talk. The fact is most people don't do that. Most people in admissions or any type of sales, they talk, 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 talk. We love to talk, we're outgoing people, we're friendly. We have fun, we're funny, we, we get people to laugh. We love talking. However, we can also do that with talking less, listening more, and then what we say has even more power, more import. When you're on the phone, make sure you're listening to your prospective student and not waiting until they get done to interrupt them, but really listen to them. Be very present. And you can always recap what they say. Like, let me see, understand if, if, if I understand you correctly, Sally. You said this, 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 and this. Active listening, reflective listening. It's one of the keys. Also, don't be afraid to have silence, to let there be silence when you ask a question. So many times admissions reps are afraid if there isn't something that is said within usually like a quarter second or a half second after they've asked a the question, they start getting very uncomfortable. And then they start saying something. Now, if you ask a question, it's so important that you wait for the answer, because if you don't wait for the answer, you're not going to connect deeply with your prospective student and you're not going to give them the opportunity to connect deeply with their emotions that are underneath that question you ask them. Don't be in a rush to say something. Let there be a second of space, a couple of seconds. Let a person reflect, think about their answer. That's very rare because most people are afraid of silence. How many times do you just sit with your friends, your family in the middle of a conversation when there's just, you know, there's just a pause? No need to say something. Your wife, girlfriend, whoever it may be. Let there be pause after you ask a question. However, after you receive an answer, let there be no pause. You need to ask them, immediately ask them a question after they give you that answer. Don't rush, like you're, I gotta, gotta rush to ask something, but don't leave what's called dead air. I used to be a radio DJ. And you, you always have, you're always saying something on the air. There's not a dialogue. So when the person answers you, immediately ask them another question. Because if you don't, what they will do is they will start asking you questions, usually about information. Oh, you know what? Well, since we're stopped here, what, how much does it cost? And when does the next class start? And are you going to guarantee me financial aid? Are you going to guarantee me a job and all that stuff? Then you lose control of the conversation, of the communication. Lastly, when you're in person with someone, this is powerful. The art of eye contact, eyeball to eyeball. I don't mean like stare at them without blinking for like 10 minutes, but when you're talking with someone or they're talking with you, look them right in the eye. The eyes are the windows to the soul and it is so powerfully connecting when one person is talking with another person and they see the person and feel that person present with them. And it's starting to rain, so I must end this now so my camera doesn't get drenched. And I hope you create an amazing day. Keep learning, keep growing, and I'll see you next time.